Uh, good afternoon to you all. Hope you're well. Are you well? It's Friday, end of the week for, uh, well, it's certainly the end of the week for myself anyway. I'm not here over the next couple of days. Be back on Monday, but we'll tell you all about that later on uh, as the show goes on. So if you didn't already know by now, my name is Craig Laird and I am with you for an hour, Monday to Friday, 12pm here in the UK, 8am Eastern Time, 5am Pacific Time. However, as soon as that hour's over with, I don't go far. I am then going to be uh, sticking around for half half an hour, where uh, today it is, by absolute popular demand, it is myself and George. We are both going to be on together when it comes to Craft Vault, but also George is going to be joining myself as well throughout this Craft Vault as well. So Ben is, um, Ben, he is in the building. I think he's maybe in the green room just having a wee sleep after that run. Don't know about you, but I am certainly knackered after that incredible craft fault last night. A uh, well, craft fault cartload last night. It was phenomenal. Absolutely was. Anyway, as I say, we are Friday. We are the 19th of March. So what have we got on uh, Crafters TV today? We are, do you know something? It's basically, it's a double launch. Double launch today. So what we've got on uh, coming up and lunch day. So lunch day is then going to be 3 p.m. here in the UK, 11 a.m. Eastern time, or of course 8 a.m. Pacific time. And it's our uh, illustrator animal stamp and die sets. These are phenomenal. These have these uh, these have been designed by Sarah Kay. So if you remember our floral birth month stamps, she designed these ones, and she's going to be in the studio live, and she's going to be joining. Uh, well, so it, it is going to be Ben and Sarah. Um, but later on, George is going to be uh, tuning in and joining in when it comes to Colour Me Happy, which leads me on to Colour Me Happy. So that one is then going to be uh, 7 p.m. here in the UK or, of course, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, 12 noon Pacific Time. And that is all about our brand new Spectrum Noir Discovery Kit. So we've done uh, a little bit of a small take on them, um, uh, I don't know, maybe a couple of months ago. And we've gotten some really, really cool ones, some bigger selection as well, that both, uh, well, George and Sarah slash Ben and Sarah are going to be showing you throughout Colour Me Happy. We're going to have a little bit of a sneak peek on Wake Up Call and same with the Illustrator Animal Stamp and Dies as well. Going to be having a look at them. But when uh, I started off by saying we're going to go into Craft Vault as well, Craft Vault today is up to 65% in Incredible. So these are certainly ones that you want to check out as well. You can always check out while you're watching, certainly if you're watching on our website. But while we are in March, what we are doing, we are celebrating National Craft Month. So we've kind of got two giveaways in. So what we've got is we've got our big giveaway. Well, do you know what? They're both big. But we've got a monthly giveaway, whereas what we're going to be doing at the end of the month is going to be giving away a Gemini Pro and also one of the rotating discs. Now, what you need to do to be in with the chance of winning is just follow that detail all the way along the bottom. There we go. Uh, there we go, right to the end here. Type that in into your uh, laptop, your PC, your tablet, your iPhone, Samsung, wherever it is. Type that in and then that will lead you into how to enter for that draw. However, we are doing a daily giveaway as well to celebrate National Craft Month. So what you can then be doing to be in with a lot of goodies, all you need to do, and now you need to listen carefully for this one, because this is really hard. You need to comment. That's it. All you need to do is comment. So whether, of course, it is on Facebook or maybe on YouTube, then what you can then do is say hi, say hello. Maybe you didn't see Wake Up Call yesterday, so you've not seen George yet. You know, welcome him to the team. As I say, George is going to be on the comments all through a Wake Up Call, but he's also doing craft fault with me as well. You absolutely loved him. He had a blast and he joined in really, really well. So he's, uh, he's coming in for a bit more today. Now, while you're across on the website, you may want to check out, if you've not already seen it, and that is and there's only a couple of days left of our current Get It, Got It Good. This week's current Get It, Got It Good is all about our staycation stamp and die sets. So we have got our stamps, we've got our dies, we've got our 12 by 12 paper pad as well. They're going to work well together. Maybe you want to use the stamps on their own. Maybe you want to use the paper pad on their own. It's entirely up to yourself. In total, you're going to be getting Happy Camper, The Simple Life, Road Trip, Life's a Beach, and then you're getting home away from home when it comes to the paper pad. So that is your current Get It, Got It, Good. 
There you go. So absolutely do check them ones out when you're across on the website. Maybe for yourself or maybe you want to break them up as a little gift or so. Really nice for creating these memories on scrapbook pages or maybe even the memory books. Right, let's have a look and see as to what's coming up first of all when it comes to launch day. So as I say, this is going to be launch day with Ben and Sarah. So we can see these on the screens right now. So we're getting six sets. Now in total, you're getting 31 elements because you get the stamps and the dies. 74.95 here in the UK, 84.75 here in the UK. You're getting an awesome saving already. And to start off with, if you're going to go for that full bundle, you're going to be saving over 15%. However, if you maybe, maybe you don't want to go for the full bundle, maybe there's only a specific few that you want, there is a multi-buy on the website as well that you can get where you can get two for, you know, well, here in the UK, put it this way, it is now, what is it, two for, let me check, you know, I, I didn't write that bit down, did I? I just put multi-buy on my notes. That would help, Craig. So what was that, Johnny? So you can get two for £27 or two for $30. That will teach me to write shorthand, wouldn't it? So that is what's coming up later on today in Launch Party, and that is then going to be 3 p.m. here in the UK, or, of course, 11 a.m., 8 a.m. Eastern Time for you guys stateside. Then what we're going to do is we're then going to be moving on. It's Friday. Couldn't be a Friday without a Colour Me Happy. So this is our brand new Spectrum Noir Discovery Kit. Now within these ones here, you've got the option of uh, singly if you want to, but look at this bundle that you're getting. So you've got your Spectrum Noir Advanced Discovery Kits. This is your multi-buy or your buy the show. And this is the collection of 81 pens in total. But what you're getting is you're getting a lot of additional elements as well that I will show you through the show. £79 here in the UK, $110 for you guys in the United States of America. So maybe that you are, maybe you feel you are advanced when it comes to your colouring, you want to then take it to the next level, then you absolutely can do with this one. Maybe you want to drop back a bit, maybe that you're not overly uh, experience when it comes to colouring, then this is also a nicer way to start because you do get like a step-by-step -step guide within each set. Sarah and Ben, they're going to be showing you in a little bit more detail come Colour Me Happy, also with George popping in. So do check them ones out, but we will be having a look at them very shortly. What I want to do as well is, because it is Friday, it's the start of the weekend, what we're doing up until the end of Sunday, you've got the opportunity to get some bonus points. So what you, all that you need to do to get your bonus points, you need to either you know, spend 25, over £25 or $25. You're going to then be getting 50 bonus points. Now, if you spend £50 or $50, you're going to get 100 bonus points. And then if you're going to spend £75 or $75, you're going to then be getting 150 bonus points. So nice way to actually help you go up the tiers of your Club Inspire. What to say as well, if you do go for this, the big by the show, you're also going to get an extra 250 bonus points. So that's really nice incentive as well to get you up to the Club Inspire. Now what I need to do is I need to, I need to run really far right there. So while I do that and get set up for our first demonstration, which is coming up in launch party, we're way ahead to someone you absolutely loved and we loved yesterday as well. So he's come back and he's doing uh, more of, the, he's doing all the comments actually today. It's over to you, George. Yes. Good morning, everybody. It's me, George Aiken here on Wake Up Call. Thanks for having me back. Good morning, Craig. Good to see you. And you're busy and active this morning. You are getting in touch. We've got loads of hellos. Randy Griggs on YouTube. Good morning. Dark here in Western North Dakota. I'm getting loads of travel inspiration. When I can leave, when we can travel again, I'm getting loads of inspiration. North Dakota, loving it. Uh, Gwen on Facebook. Hello, Craig and the CC staff. It's like a, it's like a crew and it's like a CC staff. <laughs> and uh, Diana has a good morning, everyone from Indiana. And there is loads of excitement and loads of buzz about these products coming up for you today. Uh, Laura May on YouTube. Tube, she says, I've got five packages shipping between you and uh, the Home Shopping Network as well. Loads of stuff happening. And uh, what was this? Teresa said, so excited about this illustrated animal collection. That's coming up at 3 p.m. UK time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time with Sarah and Ben. And of course, the wonderful, uh, is it Sarah? Remind me of her name? Is it Sarah? Yes. 
She illustrated them. She's going to yes. be live here at 3 p.m. Designed them. Look at that. Exciting. So loads of love for those this morning, Craig. It is. Really, really is. So it's going to be a great day. I can see your comments coming in here thick and fast as well. So throughout this show, myself and George, we are going to be uh, going through a couple of things that are coming up. But what I'm about to do is I'm a way to take these uh, stamp animals, so our illustrator animal stamp and die sets, and we're going to do a little bit of a demo on them. Now, what you're going to be able to get, let's go for the boards, first of all. These are absolutely phenomenal when it comes to these ones here. Now, these are a combination of both uh, the detailed stamps that we do at Crafters Companion and uh, in conjunction with uh, Sarah Kay and her artwork. So here is our butterfly within this one here. Not any old butterfly, you've got this incredible detail. Really nice for if maybe you want to do bits of zentangling into all of these spaces, you can do. So you get the butterfly, but what you also do get as well is you get the die Right way, Craig. There we go. You get the die as well. So you can use the images on their own or you can die cut them out if you want. So that's a butterfly. Look at that. You've got to be having a giraffe. You really, really do. Look at that one there. Not as good as Ben's jokes, are they? Yeah. Yeah. Well, just you go home then, Johnny. On you go. That was bad. That was bad. I know. I'm not good with the jokes. We know that. I'm not good with the jokes. I'm not good at saying the jokes and I'm not good at understanding a lot of jokes because they just go. You've seen all those tumbleweed, tumbleweeds that go along the floor when Ben says his jokes. Or maybe I just don't get them because they're not funny when it comes to Ben. On that note, we're going to have a look at, again, we've got the giraffe here. So same concept, you can stamp them out and use them flat or maybe you want to die cut the giraffe's head there. Then we've got the twit-to-woo. We've got the... Uh, I learned go on. last week... Now, I should say I learn on, you know, really, you know, uh, QI or really big, you know, intelligent TV show. I learned on Coronation Street last week, two weeks ago, that owls don't actually go twit to woo. They go twit, and it's the other one that goes woo. They do it together. So it's twit to woo. So one owl doesn't actually go twit to woo. One goes twit, the other one goes to woo. I this this is early morning TV. Yeah. This is education. This well, if it? I've been lied to, Charlotte, that's Coronation Street. You have to take it up with it. Yeah, no, <laughs> no. It's so someone do that. Either I, I'm going to look like a prize plum. Today. Yeah, get on Google on this. Get, get, in the get on Google or that. But no, it's it's something along those lines. That one owl, like an owl, doesn't act. He is about, right. Thank you. There you go. They. So the female does the twit, and the male does the twoo. There you go. Wow. There you are. There you are. And that's 20 owls. So there you go. If you want to get any more detailed uh, information on anything like that, do tune in to Coronation Street ITV on a Monday, <coughs> Wednesday and Friday at 7.30 with the second episode at half past eight. <laughs> so what we can then do is we can then move on into the next one. So on this one here, we have got our elephant. So, you know, maybe good for, uh, uh, you know, many different occasions. Maybe obviously, you know, someone in the family that loves elephants. Maybe you like to take a mick out of them because they've got big ears. You maybe want to then uh, make this card for them. You've got the die as well that you could be using. This is what I'm going to be demoing. Now, it's no surprise, I am absolutely loving the stag. We do pick upon it quite a lot lately that butterflies as well as uh, unicorns and now stags seem to be absolutely up there with a couple of the most images that are used. And unicorns, there we go. This one, I think out of all of them, I think this is going to be the most populous with or most popular with the stag as well so same concept where you're getting the stamp you're even getting sentiments on them all and you're even getting the actual die as well where you can do the die cutting so that is your illustrated animal stamp and die set so this is where you're getting 30 elements in total now if you do go for the full bundle you're 74.95 here in the uk or for you guys stateside you are going to be 84.75 very quickly, let's show you a few things that you can be making. Now, whether you are going to be using your tri blends, your class seats, your illustrator, your sparkle pots, aqua tints, aqua pencils, anything like that, you could be making these incredible finished samples. These are just a few of the things that you can be making, but I know throughout the show, on this show, Wake Up Call, but also on launch day that with Sarah and Ben, they're going to be showing you a lot more inspiration and ideas. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my stamping platform and I've already got a few of these bits already laid up. So I've got my watercolour card underneath and for this one I'm going to stamp it straight onto this background and for this one I'm not going to die cut it out. We're going to leave it on and do a little bit of colouring. And then what I'm going to do is I've already got my stag where I want it to go. So because I'm using watercolour card and I'm going to use our aqua pens, I'm going to use my waterproof and what I'm also doing is I'm using the flagstone. So I think with this set, this full set, whether it is alcohol proof stamp or waterproof stamp, I really do feel that either your flagstone or maybe your rustic brown is going to be a really good take when it comes to stamping your image. I think just because a lot of them are very nature-esque. So then what I can do is once I get it where I want it to go, I'm going to stamp it into place. So we're going to stamp, we're going to give it a good, good coverage. And what I'm thinking with this stag, many of you seen uh, Cartload last night where there was a lot of fussy cutting going on in demos and samples. So although you do get the dye with this one, if you want to go in and fussy cut little bits, then you can do maybe kind of like the acorn parts, the foliage parts. Look at that incredible depth that you are getting. Look how much that Sarah Kay has put into that detail there. Whether, you know, it's just the eyes, you know, the ears as well. You've got all of that foliage as well. Absolutely phenomenal. Thank you so much for that, Charlotte. And I should just say as well, morning, Johnny. Morning. Morning, Charlotte. <laughs> morning. There you go. I know some of you will be afterwards, you'll be like, uh, well, you've not said morning to them yet. There you go. Do not fear. <laughs> so here we go. What we're going to do now, actually, do you know something? What? I know, I know I've already said morning, but morning, George. Morning, mate. Morning. How are you, you doing? Go. Not bad at all. Good, good. Not That's bad what I like at to all. Hear. Definitely in that Friday feeling. Yes. As Friday, you can tell yeah. already. Let's do a little bit of colouring. I'm going to bring in my aqua pens. Let's take my water brush. Now you can use your paintbrush and water, sparkle pen, but we are going to do a little bit of colouring. And I'm going to go in, let's go in with our um, desert and I'm going to take that onto my glass mat. We're going to colour in little bits. Let's go up. A stag, is it antlers? Is antlers, it still antlers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. still yeah. antlers, yep. Is it there reindeer? We'll they have antlers as well, don't they? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, I just, I never know whether, you know, they're still kind of classed as antlers. I know they're the same look and they come from the head, but I just wasn't sure if they're still classed as antlers. And what I'm doing here is basically nothing specific. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my water brush and where we've got a lot of these guided lines that Sarah has put in for you, and you will understand and see exactly where Sarah Kay comes from when it comes to her designing. In the fact of, if you look at this set that we are showing you today on launch, uh, launch day, or you even go back and have a look at our floral month stamp and die set. She puts in all these accent lines so that you could carry on and do a little, little bit of shading if you want. So you get that little bit of accent detail that you can then top up if you want. So what I'm doing is I'm going in and I'm going to do little bits. So just highlighting these bits. What I always say, George, is at the moment, because crafting in general, we're getting so, so many new crafters, whether it is, as I say, crafting in general, or us at Crafters Companion, when it comes to blending and shading, alcohol markers, these are absolutely an incredible look that yeah. you can get from them. And a really good way to start is later on today with yourself and Ben and Sarah and Colour Me Happy with the Discovery Kits. Yeah. But an easier way that I personally feel to start off is water colouring. Because you can really draw back the colour by pulling colour out. Or you can go in and add more depth if you want to. Very, very forgiving mm. when it comes to your water colouring. So I always feel if you're never sure where to start, you know, we, we can all colour. We're all colouring, you know, with the colouring books in the past. But to progress and advance on to a more advanced stage than uh, between our aqua pens and our alcohol pens, you're going to get a real good combination of colour, shading and blending. They're looking really good, Craig. Got some news for you, breaking news. Uh -oh. Sarah Kay, the artist of these beautiful stamps, is watching live Wait. on Facebook. Good morning, good afternoon. She's going to be joining us here at 3pm here in the studio. So no pressure now, Craig. No pressure whatsoever. She is 
absolutely lovely. An absolute heart of gold. Um, she's, she's such a laugh as well. She's so funny. And it's so nice that we're actually able to incorporate her artwork uh, now as well within our stamp and die sets. And actually, you know, if you go on to uh, Facebook, if you go on to our Spectrum Noir Facebook group, you can see some of the things that Sarah has been colouring, as well as uh, Nicole Bretherick or lots of other design team members from Spectrum Noir. And they're going to give you lots of ideas and inspiration. Simply gorgeous. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to do just a tiny little bit more. And I'm going to bring in, so for anyone wondering, that one was the moss. This one is the gold. And now what I'm doing is I'm going to pick out little bits of detail when it comes to the stag's head. So what I'm going to do on this one actually is I'm going to mix some of the desert as well as the gold, bringing them together. And that's again what you can do with watercolour in. You can then start to mix and start to get in that depth. So I'm laying down the colour here first. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in. Let's actually go in with a bit of the desert. I'm going to scribble, whether it's your glass mat or whether it is on your craft mat. And then I'm going to go in and I'm following Sarah's lines, literally following what she has already done. And I'm going to go in and all the way around. And then what I'm going to do as well, and I've already got one completely done, but we can do this still just uh, quickly to show you. I'm going to go in with crimson. So I've got my crimson and I'm going to go in with my flint. So flint, I'm going to scribble onto my glass mat. Really quite hard for you to see just now, but it is there. And then what I'm doing is I'm going to pick up that colour and then I'm going to colour all the way around. Really roughly, you can see how much I'm pretty much just scribbling all the way round. And this is what I do. If I do alcohol colouring, I'll always go round with kind of like a glay colour. But then what I'm going to do, let's take just a white for the time being. I'm going to take that off. I'm then going to go in with the crimson. I'm going to get a good, good, good coverage on my glass mat. I'm then going to go in, leave that to dry when you've fully coloured it. And I'm really going to water this down. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to then come in and then I'm going oh, to flick. Oh, look at that. So I'm going to flick. So I would do that with the crimson, with the gold. And you could add a little bit more of the flint if you want. Let's then, once you've completely gone over, look at that. That looks great. So mate. that what the only difference actually is that one there. So I used flint all the way around. This one was actually the grey one. That's the grey. But this is all that we've done. So colour your image, even that back, leave it to dry and then flick on top and you get this very rustic kind of organic look to the image. They are looking lovely. Question about those stamps, Craig. Yes. Um, from Left Hander Crafter on YouTube. Uh, wants to know, are those stamps photo polymer? They are indeed. Are they indeed? Uh, Absolutely. And just remind us quickly, Craig, Sam on Facebook is asking, what are the colours that you're using there? Just a quick question. Is it a mixture? What are the colours that you've just used on that design there? So I used a mixture of desert, crimson, flint, gold, and moss. And that was from our aqua pens that I used on them. So yeah, really good question on that one there. So let's pop these bits out of the way for now. I'm going to pop that one to the side, leave to dry, because I can finish that one off later. Now, I've just used the stamps on their own. I've not even come in with the die yet, because you've got that die that pops straight over the top, so you can lift it up and layer it on. But what I'm going to do is, if I go in with my tape runner here, and I'm going to go all the way around, so work our way around with my tape runner here, and then I'm going to go onto my black cardstock. We're going to go into here. And then what I'm going to do, just on the edges, I am going to bring in my actual ribbon. So I've got a bit of ribbon here. And this is satin ribbon. It's a bit of a satin gold colour. And I'm going to twist that round just onto the edge. And it's given the card an extra bit of kind of touchy-feely. 
So it's always good to, on your cards to do a little bit of uh, raised detail, whether it's a foam pad and sentiment, whether it's a bit of texture from ribbon, anything like that, because what you're wanting to do as well, specifically for anyone that's maybe a bit, um, has a bit of sight issues, always nice to just have that extra bit of touchy-feely on the card. Gives it more interest as well. And then what I can do is I've already tied a bow here. So let's bring in our glue gel. And with this being, or I would class it as an embellishment, so therefore I'm using my glue gel. I'm then going to come in with the sentiment. And this, just for you, this also comes on the set with the stag. But you can then maybe mix and match if you want to. And you can use maybe some of the sentiments from the, maybe you want to use the ones from the butterfly and use them on with the stag or mixing and matching, as I say, it's up to yourself. Now I know I had completely done many of these layers all together, but then that gives you an idea as to what you can do. As I say, I've not even used the die yet. Haven't even used the die. We could then just use the stamp if you want, or what I could have done is here's one that I'd already stamped before. So I could have left it like that, or, or what I could have done, once I've colored this in, I wouldn't necessarily do the outside because that would be a bit of a waste, but then go in with the die, die cut it out, or use the die on its own. Imagine that as an aperture for a shaker card. Yes. You know, you could clearly see it's a stag or, you know, a reindeer, Christmas colors. Why oh, not? I was thinking that, reindeer. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So there we go. That's just one idea as to what you can do when it comes to your uh, actual illustrated animal stamp and die collection. So this is where you're getting six sets. You're getting 30 elements in total, combining the stamps as well as the dies. 74.95 here in the UK. 84. Uh, 84.75 for you guys stateside that's not including your club inspire go across to our website crafterscompanion.co.uk.com.eu if you're a platinum member you're going to be 59.96 or 67 dollars 80 if you're a platinum member so even with those prices you're still going to be uh, so you're going to be over the 50 pound 50 dollars so you're also going to get an extra 100 uh, bonus points as well so that's going to lift you up onto the tier so really worthwhile checking them out when it comes to our website now while i get myself uh, quickly tidied get a slurp of my tea and have a look at your comments i'm going to throw back to george and he's also going to have a read of what you've been saying yes loads of love for these animal collection this morning uh Therese mill on youtube so excited about this illustrated animal collection. Lisa Batgirl just ordered the Illustrated Animal Stamp and Die Stamp before work. Julie Barlow, new animal stamps and dies ordered early this morning. And Denise uh, Mills on YouTube ordered my Illustrated Animals as well. Could not take the chance of a sellout. They are so nice. Really busy. You're loving this this morning. And uh, Kirsty on Facebook, she's got the right idea. She's gone, I love those. My hubby ordered them for me this morning. Look at that. She's got wow. it brilliantly. And don't forget, they're coming at 3pm. And Sarah Kay, the illustrator of these beautiful stamps, is going to be joining Sarah and Ben here in the studio at 3 p.m. UK time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8 a.m. Pacific Time. I'm learning all about these times. I'm getting, I'm getting there. Good, I'm getting memorised. Right, so that's going for you at 3 p.m. Craig, what have you got for us next? Right, what we're waiting to do now is we're going to have a look at our discovery kits. Now, you may be familiar with a smaller range that we've done uh, several, and seen several months ago. It was actually a wee while ago now, and I remember that because we were actually in our old studio next door. So a wee while ago now. This is then uh, progressing on. And actually, I say progressing loosely because maybe you've not done colouring before. Maybe you've done kind of simple colouring when it comes to blending and shading. And now what we've done within the discovery kits we have got the experts when it comes to coloring so you've got your four sets there now we can see from your top left you've got 21 elements from your top right we can see that we've got also 21 elements we can see do you know what why don't I just make it easier for myself and just look at the screen yeah, don't go. Don't go. look at the screen that helps 81 putting and the guys out of work by uh, not reading what they put on the screen there we go. Uh, this is our Spectrum Noir Advanced Discovery Kits within these ones here. 81. How many, George? 81. 81. 81. 
there we go. Elements. 81 yeah. elements. So we're going to show you them in detail because you get your uh, your pens, you're getting some guides, you're getting colouring material as well. £79 here in the UK, $110 for you guys stateside. You are in Europe, then of course go to .eu, yours will be there. If you are platinum, you're going to be $63.20 here in the UK or $88.80 for you guys stateside. So also you are going to get an extra uh so yeah, so there we go. Yeah, you threw me there, Johnny. Pause it. That was no, that was my mistake. So yeah, because you're going to get them as a bundle, you're going to get your extra two hundred bonus points. But then because you're spending over that uh, specific amount that you can see on your screen, or of course Club Inspire, it means you're going to get an extra hundred and fifty bonus points as well. So really mm. racking up the bonus points when it comes to Club Inspire. When it comes to Color Me Happy later on, now of course you won't have these sets with you yet. You can color along with Sarah and if you have a look either on our website or go into your emails this morning and have a look at the newsletter there's an option for you to click a link it's going to take you to the website print out your colour and material and you can colour in with Sarah, George and Ben as well. That's then going to be 7pm here in the UK, 3pm Eastern Time, 12 noon Pacific Time. So I'll tell you what we're going to do, Craig's going to be quiet, well <laughs> He's not going to be quiet, he's going to keep talking, but he's actually going to show you uh, a little bit more detail of uh, these discovery kits. Now this one here, so this one is all about our masterful mandalas. Isn't this simply spectacular? So this, when it comes to the artwork and the ideas that are in the booklet, this is coming from uh, Baz Furnell. Many of you will know and recognise his name from the past several weeks and months here at Crafter's Companion and Spectrum Noir. So he's going to give you the real, real unique 3D look when it comes to teaching you how to colour within the little booklet that you're getting. But within the booklet, what you're going to get is all of the guides as to how you can use your tri-blends within this set here. So he's going to be showing you the way that you can get the shading, the depth, the roundness, but it's also incorporating some of these art liners as well. Now that's what I'm going to be focusing on in a moment. Let's show you, you're getting a little bit of uh, an inspiration sheet as to how you can actually colour that mandala. A wee bit of a top tip step by step that we can see here. But if you want even more information, there's another booklet inside. So it's actually a fold out booklet. And you can see you've got lots of uh, info on whether it is your colouring mediums, your alcohol mediums, storage before you start colouring, how to start colouring, even more hints and tips that you can see here. So that is uh, when it comes to the master himself. But then you're going to say, but Craig, I've not got proper colouring material as of yet. You get that included as well. So these are all included with uh, on our uh, colouring cardstock. So you've got your mandalas within this one here. So all of these different varieties, variations, sizes and looks all along that mandala theme because that is exactly what this set is all about. Lots of different ones. I mean, look at that. That's one. gorgeous. Isn't that phenomenal? Yeah, I love that. Imagine that being coloured in, the way that it's going to look, the depth that you're going to get. So you've got that one there. So what we're going to do is we're then going to take this one. I'm going to move it round to the side. Now, 4th of September 2020, if you want to go back, that's when Be uh, Baz was actually in and uh, you'll be able to do a bit of Colour Me Happy along with them. Obviously, it was in the past. You can still carry, carry on and colour away with them if you want to. So that was 4th of September with that one. So that is just your mandala set. You're still getting the adventures in colour. You're getting your illustrators. And you're also getting, which I think is going to be a phenomenal one. And I'm going to leave you teasing just for a moment. This one here is all about your adventures. So this is about your classics. You're also getting your illustrators that you can see in this one here. And then also a mix 
of illustrators in class six. Look at that comic book hero one. We're going to have a look at that just shortly. I think that one could potentially be a real favourite, yeah. especially for anyone that's like likes their comic comic books and your colouring and your heroes that sort of look. So here we go. Let's have a look now. I'm going to bring in one of these. Now, which one did I pick out that I really like? This one. This one here that's got all that curvature through it. So I'm going to set that to the side for the moment. Now, of course, you can follow along when you've got your step by steps. It's introducing you with the tri blends as well as your art fine liners that you can work away, and give you that extra look if you want to. You can, of course, start to create your own look and uh, feel to it. But what I am going to do, let's bring in a piece of cardstock underneath. So we're popping that one under. That's just going to kind of catch any colour. Because we are using alcohol-based pens, what will happen is it will bleed through. So you want kind of something underneath. A bit of scrap card or that to catch the colour. What I'm then going to do is simply start in when it comes to laying the colour down. You can start wherever you want, pick out an area if you want, but there's a lot of detail when it comes to all these tiny little bits. So try blends and Sarah and George and Ben, I'll go over these in a lot more detail come colour me happy. But it's one colour family, so for instance this one is the magenta. So what you've got is you've got the light on this side, you've got the dark on this side and you've got the mid-tone in the middle. So instead of having three separate pens, you've got one pen with your three colours. So what I'm doing is I'm going to go in and I'm laying down that light colour first. So I'm using the light shade and I'm going to come maybe about two thirds of the way up and I'm making sure that I give a good base of colour. So I'm going to go all the way down, all the way down and then once I've gone over it a good number of times, what I'm going to do is I'm then going to turn it around and then I'm going to go into the other side. This is now the dark side. We're then going to go into here. We're then going to add a little bit of that dark shade to it. And I'm only coming in maybe about a third of the way. What we can then do is we're now going to go into the mid-tone. And I'm not going to go completely over this dark shade. What I'm doing is just where the dark meets this light, circular motions, I'm going to blend the two out. And as these pens are alcohol, what's happening is you are, you're kind of bleaching the colour out, blending it out. And if you were to go over that dark with the mid, because it's alcohol, you're actually going to lift that dark shade, which you don't want to do. You want to keep the depth. So I'm going to go back into this light shade now. I'm going to finish it off. We're going to go around these edges, doing what I'd done a moment ago, and that's blend the two colours in together. So even straight away from up above, we can see we've got the darkness to the left, and we're working our way towards the right. Have you ever seen anything like these before, George? I haven't. Colouring? Do you know what? I've learnt a lot while I've been here. In my short time that I've been here, I've learnt quite a lot about these pens. And I think they are brilliant. I think, uh, let me find the comments. Someone summed it up beautiful. Um, let me find it for you, because it's a great little phrase. Um, someone, I can't find it, but they sort of said, you start as crafters, but you finish as artists. And I think that's a great little, great little uh, incentive with these pens. Quick question about these, these sets, these discovery kits from Pamela on yes. YouTube. She went, are these kits much bigger than the previous ones? Yes, they are. So they are a, a bigger set. Now, off the top of my head, I think roughly you kind of got maybe it was round about four pens, four to five pens in the past. So then now, as you can see on your screen right now, you've got a much bigger box. Much bigger box because you do get a more variation of colours. And similar to the ones before, you're getting a mixture of either tri-blends and art liners or maybe classics with illustrators. So you're still getting a nice mix so that you can get that absolute spot-on look by following the tuitions that are in the book. Maybe you want to search for the artists online as well, but you are getting a bigger scope of colour. So you are taken your discovery kits even further than before by it's yes it's advancing from before but there is nothing stopping a beginner from starting right at the beginning and using these pens as well if you're in any doubt with coloring you're not sure where to start try blends when it comes to alcohol pens these ones try blends spot on because it's easier to start with what you'll find uh, George is yes. the try blends the color 
is exactly the same as the colours in our classic pens. Right. It's just the classic pens are all single colours. Right. So this one here, magenta, in a classic pen, you're going to have three separate pens. So one, yes, there's a bit more cost, and two, it takes up more space. The advantage to the classic is there are so many more colours, so you can continue to progress with your colour in. But this is where I would always say your try blends as a beginner, or maybe you are a beginner to blending and shading, start with your tri blends and carry on going and work your way up. And maybe you want to then progress onto the classic pens, which is absolutely fine. Or maybe you're going to be happy enough, comfortable enough and confident enough to stick with the tri blends. It's up to yourself. So it's a nice wee starter when it comes to these sets as well. Many different ways you could use them. But what I'm doing is I'm going to just finish off that bit here. So I've not done much. I'm actually tempted to take this sheet away home with me uh, today and maybe do a little bit more colouring later on. So what we're going to do is, if, if, you, if you don't tell anyone, George, I won't tell no, anyone I won't that uh, I've taken this sheet later on and see how you can then start to progress as well. Yeah. Now, I've only done a smidge of what you can then be colouring on this one. But this is the effect that you're going to get. So straight away, it looks phenomenal from up above, how we've gone from the depth, and then we're going to go to the light as well. You're going to be mixing and matching when it comes to the selection that you're getting within that set there. But as, uh, as I said before, that's coming up in Colour Me Happy, 7 p.m. here in the UK, 3 p.m. Eastern time, 12 noon Pacific time. You're going to go for that full bundle that we can see right there, £79 here in the UK, $110 for you guys stateside by the full bundle you're going to get 200 extra bonus points but then because that's then going to take you over the uh, bonus point incentive what you're going to be getting is an extra 150 points as well because it's over the 75 pounds slash 75 dollars range so there we go that'll be that'll be a really good one for uh, for you to see as well george not only because it's color me happy you're going to see hurricane sarah at her absolute best I know. I'm Absolutely. excited. I'm working with the boss. This is it. I'm starting in the deep end. I'm working with the boss on my second day. I'm enjoying it. Uh, and don't forget, if you are learning things like me, you know, learning things in crafting, head to the YouTube channel and you can find all these videos and demonstrations. Create your little playlist, subscribe, and you'll always be notified of when we go live. Loads of comments coming in. Absolutely loving, loving these. Um, Rita, she put, hello, George. First time catching you on Crafters TV. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having fun. Having a great time. And uh, Lucille on YouTube. Hey, she went... I've never seen George, handsome fella, and a beautiful voice. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, tough man. And uh, look at that, Maxine <laughs> said, don't know where that came from. Maxine on YouTube said, receive my cartload order from yesterday, this morning. Look at that for shipping, we don't mess about. Look at that, awesome. Yesterday, yeah. we don't mess about. Wow, that is quick. Look at that, I was there at six o'clock this morning. No, I'm joking. And uh, Mary Lee on YouTube, my daughter loved the original sets. We'll go back to the pens. Um, so I'm thinking she will love these two. We'll order them for her. Love that I can send them directly to her. Absolutely fantastic. Now, you know that we like these kits, we always make it nice and easy and it, absolutely loving it. You know, these kits, I'm looking at it going, I can do that. And that's the best thing. So even if you're a beginner or advanced, you know, we can do stuff. And Craig, I've got something here for you. A little VT, which sends a video to with someone who may be rivaling you in the crafting world. A future superstar in the crafting world. Let's have a look. Why do I have to do this? Nice. Why do I have to do the ball? Well, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's hard to put some peanut butter on you. Start it on that one while I do this one. Why well, have to do the peanut butter? Whoa. Good. Ah, peanut butter. <laughs> Yeah, just, just put them down and then stretch them up a little bit. That's to make it good. That's to make it good now. Need a good one. What's this? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> why do you have to put inside? No, you're just hanging them up for the birds. We have to go and find somewhere to hang them now, on the tree. Oh, well now wasn't that adorable? Sarah and Charlie there, absolutely four years old. What do you think of that, Craig? I can't believe it. You never told me about that. It's my show. My name's in the title. 
I don't, I don't want that again. I don't, I don't care how old he is. Craig. It's not the point. Craig. It's not the... We're live, mate. <laughs> He's only four years old, Craig. Get off his back. Look at that. My mum could learn a tip. She made some fat balls, and I'm not going to lie to you, the birds refused them. They did not like... She's been busy in lockdown. She made some fat balls, and they hated them first. They pulled them off. They're on the garden. She's not happy. She could learn something from my mother. That'd be great. Look at that. Absolutely brilliant. Sarah and Charlie there making those absolutely fantastic. Something for the kids. Everything. Something for all the family here on Crafters TV. Absolutely, it's nice, say, a different take as to what you can be doing. Not always about die cut and stamping, paper crafting, and soft crafts as well. Right, what we're going to do is because I simply think these are phenomenal. What I've managed to do is uh, squeeze in another one of these discovery kits. So I kind of went over all the details before, so I'm not going to go over all the details there because, uh, as I just repeat myself, I've already done that. We'll do it at the end though. But on these ones here, what we're going to do, and with this one, you know, I, I think this is going to be the popular one on the individuals. If you're going to go for them, then I think this one will be. Because I can see this has been used for a lot of um, your pre-teens or even your older ones that like that co uh, comic book look, action hero look. You can see this is the sort of thing that you can be doing. Now within these ones here, what you're able to do, and you're going to get the actual inspiration and ideas from uh, Nicola Yaw. Is it Yaw? Have I pronounced? Hopefully I pronounced that that right, Nicola. So within this one here, you're getting your combination of your classics, but also your illustrators. And this is what's good about these two, is the fact of you're able to show you how you can then start to mix your mediums. So we do say time and time again that you can mix your, either your alcohol pens or your aqua pens with things like your colour and pencils, aqua pencils, nothing stopping you from cross-pollinating your classics and illustrators, and this is what this set does. So within here, what you're doing is you're getting your five illustrators and five classics, and these ones are all individual colours, and they're all going to complement together, including your art liner as well. So what you get, exactly the same as what I showed you before, but obviously following the instructions on the illustrator and classics, your step-by-step -step tutorial for you to then colour in this design. However, you are still getting a selection of different action heroes that you can see here. God, it reminds me of the computer games as well. You've got all those uh, the big here. I, I know it's not obviously the Incredible Hulk or anything like that, but it's got that look to it. It's kind of like a mix of Incredible Hulk and Superman, I think, with the cape. But then maybe, obviously, nowadays you've got your action hero, your action girls, you know, all of these that are going to be able to be coloured in too. And we've got nice selection, lots of different variations and styles that you can see. That could be maybe lanterns, or of course it could be our honey pots if you wanted to. We've got these as well, and then also another booklet that each of these booklets focuses on the actual set that you are using. So this is these ones here. So let's take a moment or two to actually have a look. So I'm going to bring this one back into place here. Let me bring in my other bit of cardstock. If I pop this one underneath. Now within this set, what you're able to do is you're able to start mixing colours in. So whether it is your classic and illustrators or even blending two colours over the top of each other. So for this one, what I'm then going to do is if I then bring in my, now it's, so I'm wanting my PT7 and it does tell you on each step the colours that you're going to need when it comes to adding the depth to it. And I also need, so let's have a look, PT6. It is written on the back of the packaging. But let's have a look. So is it not that one, that one. So let's go PT6. So here we are. So we're going to be mixing our blue with our pink. So navy blue and cocktail pink. So what I'm going to do with this one first is I'm going to then lay down the blue. And it is our illustrator. So you've got that fine nib on one side or you've got your brush nib on this side here. So with this one, you can start to blend in with your uh, colours if you want, or it's all about flicking action with these. So the illustrators, these are perfect for hair movement, or maybe you want to incorporate your, uh, your wood life, your fur, anything like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start flicking, and I'm going to build up that colour. 
Now you can keep building up on top of each other. So I'm going to do small flicks. I'm going to go back over and then I'm going to cross each other. So it's all about building that layer. So I'm going to do smaller ones now to go up to the edge. Now at this point, I'm going over the lines on these little bits. That I'm not concerned about because what will happen is we will then at one point, we're going to come back and we're going to go along that way. So you're not going to see any of these additional little flicks. And what I'm doing is similar to crossing the line like I done in the last demo. What I'm doing is I'm building by crossing. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to now come in with my cocktail pink, still using the brush nib, and I'm lightly going to come in to the base here. And what I'm doing is by using the pink, what's happening is this then starts to create a purple. So what I've done here is by going over the top, you don't need to worry about uh, you know, damaging your nib or uh, destroying your nib by uh, cross-contaminated uh, colours. You don't need to worry whatsoever. You can see that we've not got any blue whatsoever onto your colour. You may, if you were to do this on a yellow tone, you may get a little bit of colour, but do what I've just done there, little scribble, takes the colour off, and then you know that you are good to go and your pen hasn't been destroyed. I'm then going to go back in with my blue here and just crossing over again. And what that's starting to do is that's starting to blend in that blue from the pink. It's then creating, of course, that purple that we've done. But what it's doing is it's just freely transitioning that purple into the blue. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to go back in and I'm working my way along. Now, when it comes to following the experts, you can then follow along with the instructions that Nicola has put within these ones here. So I'm building and building. I like to do a little section at a time. And similar to what Sarah Kay has done, you do get some of your accent lines. If you want to go in and you want to add that extra accent, then you absolutely can do. But we're now going to go back in with our cocktail pink, flicking actions, building that colour up, that pink will soon, that will, or very soon, that will go into a purple. When you initially do the lay down, it does look pink even on top of the blue, but what you get, because the alcohol blends in, it evaporates, it becomes the actual purple shade that you want. So I'm going to cross over again, and I'm going to go in, flicking actions. And what I'm also doing is I'm kind of flicking in the direction of the way that the hair's going. And then what we can do is even if you wanted to do a little bit more, you can go back in, cross it over, and you really are getting all of that extra uh, depth that you're getting. If you want to go back and even add more, there is no reason whatsoever. You're going to go back in, let, you know, little flicks, larger flicks, you want to get that colour down. But we got, having a starter guide within this leaflet is absolutely spot on. But then what you can start to do is have a look and search when it comes to the artist, whichever discovery kit that you are using. You can have a look, but we're going in, flicking them out. So even then, your purple that you've created is getting darker and then it's getting lighter and lighter as it goes all the way down. What I'm even away to do on this bit here, what I'm doing is I'm just finishing this light little bit here and then I'm going to go around and I'm going to flick. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going and keep going. And I, I like to work my way from one end to the other. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back on itself. Keep in mind, as we're building the shades, we can eradicate any of these additional lines. But this is the thing with the illustrators. So whether it is your Colour Me Happy later on or afterwards, what you can do is go back on Crafters TV, whether it is YouTube or our website, and have a look at dedicated illustrator shows. But we're going to go back in with our pink now. And then, so along this way, I'm going to continue that pink. So we're going to go all the way there. And then I'm working my way around. And then what I can do is I can do following these lines, doing these curvatures. 
if I want to go in, building up that colour again, I, I cannot, I'm actually getting lost in what I'm doing here. It's, it's, a nice, it's a nice different way of doing it. Instead of just laying the colour down, what you can do is uh, it's showing you another way in which you can blend the colours, but two different colours. They look great. I can't believe, Craig, that you've done that in five minutes. Or however long it's not long and it looks so good and, it, and and that's the best thing about them pens is that they just help you don't they they get the colors working it all looks good and it's taking you what five minutes and look where you are already it's it's i think kid it's perfect for kids this set i think it's absolutely brilliant for kids uh, yeah it really really is and the one thing i'll always say george certainly when it comes to crafters tv uh, during uh, the lockdown one last year, I was uh, the first time right. I was I had to do the twelve week isolation, right. And uh, so I've not done it again for it. That was my personal choice not to do it again. But while I was at home, what I done is I worked on my colouring when it comes to our classics and tri blends. So I'm always open and say I'm. Uh, if you want a really good teacher with the illustrators, obviously go with Leanne and Sarah. But this goes to show that even I'm still working on my progress when it comes to illustrator pens. So for me being able to create that live in front of you, if you are an experienced, you're going to get this no problem at all. If you're maybe like me, you're moving into your illustrators, maybe you've not even started. This is then showing that you can absolutely start from either right at the beginning or me, which is maybe a good, you know, six to eight months in on having a wee dabble with the illustrators, and you can still get this absolute incredible effect that we can see here. I'm going to leave it like that. You can continue to do your flicks, building up that shading, building up that movement. But this is uh, one of the boxes, one of the discovery kits that you're going to be seeing in even more detail coming up on Colour Me Happy later on today. That's then going to be 7 p.m. here in the UK, 3 p.m. Eastern time, 12 noon Pacific time, 79.99 here in the UK, $110 for you guys stateside. Still going to get your Club Inspire. If you go for that full bundle, you're still going to get 200 bonus points as well and because it's over the 70 pounds slash 70 dollar mark you're also going to get 150 bonus points as well today slash this weekend is absolutely a winner for uh, stocking up on any new goodies or maybe you want to put any extra essentials in like your tape pens and uh, foam pads etc etc so that is also going to be with ben sarah and also george as well talking to george we're going to head across to him right now here I am. Yes, loads of comments, loads of love coming in for those pens. Uh, Eve B on YouTube said, Anime, you guys are so on trend. Look at that. Uh, Michelle Crawford, oh, I've got to get one of these to be sure. Uh, Crafty AJ, these new kits really are next level. They'll be great gifts for aspiring artists. And Deb Sneary on Facebook, great colour technique, Craig. And not only are you loving the pens, you're also loving Charlie and Sarah. Yes, absolutely loving it. So much love for Charlie and Sarah. Aisha on Facebook, no stealing the Craig spotlight. Not even for four-year-olds. Uh, Jean, Jean Marie said, whoa, the stroppy Scotty is back. Now, that's harsh, Jean. That is harsh, Jean. He's the hottest Scotty. And uh, Beth Blood on YouTube. Sorry, Craig. Charlie is a show stealer. He is. He absolutely is. You never know. Maybe one day we'll try and get him in uh, actually live uh, in the studio if uh, when all this is over with. And uh, if he's maybe not too shy, or maybe get him in, that would be really good to see, wouldn't it? Right, Teo, we're just about at the end of the show and uh, the end of Wake Up Call for this week. However, I'm not going far. I am literally going to go back to my desk in a moment or two where myself and George are going to be uh, going over craft fault for the next half an hour. So uh, next half an hour where it's going to be up to 65% when it comes to everything in craft fault. It's going to be action packed. It's going to be so quick. If you are wanting detailed depth of demos, it's not the show for you. If you're wanting incredible bargains and deals, definitely the show for you, which I think many of you are wanting. However, not the end of the day on Crafters TV. We've still got later on today, 3 p.m. here in the UK, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 8 a.m. Pacific Time. That's going to be launch day and that's going to be with our illustrated animal stamp and die sets. 
Also with Sarah Kay as well, popping into the studio, who has designed them. That's going to be with Ben and Sarah. And then to finish off the day later on, Colour Me Happy, with it being a Friday, 7pm here in the UK, 3pm Eastern Time, 12 noon Pacific Time. That is all about our brand new Spectrum Noir Discovery Kits. That's going to be with Ben, that's going to be with Sarah, and that's also going to be with George as well, that's going to be popping in. So you can see all the details right there. But as I have been alluded to the Club Inspire throughout the show, if you're new to us, you've maybe never heard about it before, have a look at this. Welcome to Club Inspire, our free loyalty club. As a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to silver membership where you'll get 10% discount plus free shipping when you spend over 20 pounds. When you get to 750 points you'll become a gold member which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order and will ship them to you completely free no matter how big or small they are. Spend over 25 pounds and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery carrier service. When you reach 1500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money-saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. Become a member of our club today. TV and Crafter Vault. My name's George Aiken. If you're wondering who I am, no, I'm not Ben Mosby. I'm George Aiken. I'm the handsome, younger looking. Uh, now, this is, of course, Crafter hey. Vault. Uh, thanks, Ben. This is Crafter Vault. We are bringing you loads of deals in the next half an hour. Four amazing deals for you this morning slash afternoon. And don't forget, not only are we bring you deals this weekend, and today you're also getting double points. In fact, not double points in Club Inspire. What is it? Let me remind you. Bonus points, you spend £25, you get an extra 50 bonus points. Spend £50 or $50, you get an extra 100 bonus points. And if you spend over £75, $75, €75, Euros, 150 bonus points. I've got a feeling some of you are going to be going through the ranks this weekend. I do indeed. But we've got loads of great products for you this morning slash afternoon. First of all, we are starting with these wonderful Gemini large number dies. We've got six, seven, eight and nine absolutely fantastic there you can see brilliantly there we've got number six uh, there we've got number seven absolutely fantastic number eight and number nine and it's one of my favorites it's a shaker card shaker card they are priced at 15 pounds 98 and 25 dollars 90 but remember you get those bonus points all weekend and if you are part of club inspire you're going to be getting an extra 20 percent off that if you are in the top tier and stocks are very low on them so you want to get it quick before they all sell out today six seven eight nine the gemini large number collection what else have we got well i'll show you we have got these dainty dollies look at these absolutely fantastic gemini again bring out the best these wonderful day dolly and dainty collections with five elements there these beautiful butterflies and as well this wonderful dolly as well look at that absolutely fantastic helping you make some beautiful cards with those that's that beautiful butterfly collection there and you've got that wonderful 
Dolly Collection as well there at Doily Collection. Beautiful butterflies and Doily Collection as well. They are priced at £13, 78 pence and $19.14 for you stateside. And you're saving over 40% with those. Absolutely fantastic. Well, that's not it. That is not it. Well, as we look, we've got Circle Sentiments as well from Gemini. Absolutely fantastic. These beautiful sentiments. You're right there, Craig, chucking stuff in the corner. He's, he's not happy with Charlie. He's not happy. He's not happy with that. Now, these are our circle sentiment stamp and Don't. Type. People will start talking. People will start talking. Oh, they've already been commenting, mate. I'm not even going to start. Uh, collection with but 14. Can I just say... Well, go on, tell I us, Greg. Here I we wasn't, go. I wasn't walking off there. I've dropped all my dies to the side there. In case you thought I was walking off in the strop, I wasn't. I've just dropped my dies. So I'm just about to get them. Don't fetch your teddy bear. And... <laughs> We've got your Circle Sentiment stamp and die collection with 14 elements. These beautiful little collections. These. You buy one, you get two free. I said, you buy one. <laughs> Craig, spoil sport. Uh, that is there for you. Priced at £7.99 uh, and $12.95 uh, for you in the States, America. Beautiful. You are saving loads there. And you get... And thank you as well, you get a stamp, look at that friends, all sorts, absolutely beautiful, loads of those flying out, so get those in your basket, nice and early, and as well, one more thing for you this morning as well, look at this, this wonderful, back to nature set, happy words collection, look at that, back to nature with happy words collection with 42 elements indeed, look at that beautiful little die cut, and the stamp and set, move out of the light there so you can see it, hang on a minute, let's go over that, what has Ben brought in? for you Craig what has he brought for you oh isn't he good is that a cup of tea uh, it is indeed look at that yeah. very very dry over here in the studio I'm not gonna lie to you thanks here he comes and as well you're also getting this wonderful back to nature set as well that's it Ben just slide it into shot you can't spend two minutes outside the camera can he look at him Get out, he's wearing a tie and everything today. And look at that, back to nature with Happy Words Collection and 42 elements priced at £13, £63 and $18.13 stateside. Saving over 35% for you today. Now we did start the show with these wonderful number collections, these beautiful six, seven, eight, nine sets. Absolutely fantastic. Priced at £15.98, $25.90 for you. Stateside Craig, these are great. And I think these are a great set for any crafter because you're always going to be making birthday cards, aren't you? For Just absolutely fantastic dies to have. They are. They really are. But what you're also getting as well within each set is you're also getting the stencil as well. So not only does that give you your mats and layers, but then that gives you the option to make concept cards. So I'll show you that just in a moment. So this is something that you can make. Maybe you want to use the die on its own. Then you can do. But incorporating the stencils, then why not do your mats and layers, do your easel cards as well. You can do all these different fancy ones. I'm doing this back to front and upside down kind of. But this is, you can see here, you're doing your uh, concept ones there then maybe you want to do uh, another so this one so we'll ignore the three but let's see so we've got the seven here so that gives you the idea of a twisted easel uh, also in this one so once again ignore the number one but this gives you the idea of what you could do. That could be, you know, a seven or, you know, it could be another eight. It could be a nine if you want to. So creating this card blank, that is using the stencil. Same as the mats and layers of the gold or rose gold as well as the black. That's using the stencils. So you can do big cards with your mats and layers. You can even do your edibles by using the stencil as well. So this is where your shaker card that you've got and then maybe you want to use them individually. So how do they work? Very, very simply, very simply. So what I'm doing, let's go for, let's go for, let's do the number. Let's, eight. eight. You My want favorite eight? number. Your, is eight your I'm favorite number? I'm born the 8th of January, so I expect cards. Oh, if I'm still 8th here then. of January. Yeah, oh, I've got, if I'm here, you know. Got, so, someone just said George is a yes. bit of a troublemaker on YouTube. I am. <laughs> you need to remember that one. <laughs> Mine, uh, just as an FYI, George, mine's is 21st of June. Is it? Yeah. Oh, good for you, mate. So, <laughs> yes. It's going to be, a, fingers crossed, it's going to be a special day for more reasons than one here in the UK, anyway. Let's just see how that goes. But here we go. What I've done is I've taken a piece of our red matte cardstock, or satin cardstock, and I'm going to run this one through our Gemini MIDI. So I'm going to pop this one through. This is then giving us our die-cut number. 
So let's take that one away. So we can see a good sizable die as well. So that's really good. But then what you can then do, you can then bring in the stencil that you also get with the number. So you've got multitude of different layers here. You can, so if I pop, let's pop my gold underneath so you can see just now. If I pop my number eight there, we've got the option to do a small matting layer. We've got a second option to do a little bigger matting layer, or you can draw around the actual outside and that's going to give you a big bulky matting layer. So what I would suggest is do this with a pencil. I'm going to use it with a pen just so that you can see what I'm doing. And you can also use your temporary stick and spray. So we can go all the way round. So I'm going to do my pen line, working my way around here. And then at this point, obviously, if it was a larger piece of cardstock, if you wanted to do one of those cards where it overlapped, like I showed you before, this is what you, and you could then join them up here and then here. So this is how you would start to join them up there. And we can just see it with the pen. And then what, what I'll do is let's follow this one that I've already done. And I'm very, very, and I mean uber, uber quickly, going to cut this one out. Quickly, because these are flying off. Bring that in. Green on the screen, it soon won't be seen. That's right, Ben Mosby, I'm nicking your catchphrases. Limited stock on these large number six, seven, eight, nine collection elements. Over te only 10% of the stock left. So if you do want to get them, get them in your basket straight away. There we go. So once you've cut round, following those outlines, so whatever layer that you choose to do, that gives you that additional little outline as well. So your mats and layers, you've got your three options of your mats and layers. You've got your inner, your mid, and then your outer layer as well. Maybe you want to use it on its own. Make your card blank, add your layers. Use many different ways that you can do them. And also that means that you can do it in any specific colour that you want to do as well. Absolutely fantastic. Yes, absolutely loads of love for these numbers. And these numbers are, you know, I think if, you, if you're a card maker, a regular card maker, like a lot of you are, these numbers are always going to be called on. And I think, you know, some great simple little cards as well, little shake card there. Number six, that's going to be absolutely perfect. There's only 10% of the stock left, so make sure you're getting those nice and quick. Loads of comments coming in this morning. Um, well, Amy Smithson on Facebook, so pretty. Uh, we've got the moniker said, that has to be coffee man, Ben. It is indeed. And my mum's message in. Hello, mother. So I'm watching you. That's it. No good luck or anything. Just I'm watching you. Great. She's got nothing uh, better to do. My mum that messages in as well. Is your mum? Uh, not. I don't think so today. But usually she does. Yeah. She'll say good morning. We'll have to get you off to get a Facebook page for the mums. The mum, mums are crafters. <laughs> uh, absolutely fantastic. Yes, and if you have just joined us, where have you been? Don't forget, you can catch up on YouTube and Facebook. It is bonus points all weekend for Club Inspire. Spend £25, $25, get yourself an extra 50 bonus points. £50, $50, what are you going to get? Extra 100 bonus points. There it is on the side of the screen. And if you spend £75, you're going to get yourself 150 bonus points. Remember, taking you through those ranks, absolutely fantastic right we are going to move on to these circle sentiment sets absolutely beautiful half the stock already gone this morning it is flying out of the shelves these are absolutely beautiful you're buying one you're getting two free now i've only got two in the studio with me today the wonderful thank you sentiment sent absolutely beautiful there they are look at those absolutely gorgeous thank you we get the little die cuts there as well and of course you're also getting the special friends as well absolutely beautiful and there's also the so sorry as well i've got a demonstration i'll show you that one here look at that the so sorry look at that that's what they're looking like there we'll bring in that graphics so we can have a look at them all in the die cut sets absolutely fantastic thank you guys there you are there are the three die cut sets you are getting the wonderful special friend set with the wonderful dog print as well and the cap you're getting the wonderful thank you set with the rose and of course the so sorry set and i really you buy one you get two free i said you buy one you get two free. Thank you, Craig. He never lets me down. Absolutely fantastic. Get those in seven ninety nine. So that you, you basically seven ninety nine. You're getting all of that for seven ninety nine. Absolute bargain. Twelve dollars ninety five. And if you are part of the club, Inspire, you are going to take an extra twenty percent off on that. Absolutely. Fact. If you're a platinum member, extra twenty percent off. They can just slip straight in, and you'll be making some wonderful cards and crafts straight away. Now, Craig, you're going to show us how to use these. Absolutely beautiful. I'm sure. 
they really really are and these as you can all vouch for me these ones as well as our fancy font sentiments these are my favorite dies ever i love both of them which i believe we've got a few of them on cartload a uh, cartload still in cartload from last night craftful as well uh, yeah, i have been home trust me i have been home <laughs> but here we go. this is the sort of idea that you can be doing so it's yes straight away concept cards if you want or just do simple mats and layers but you've got your outside die that gives you the sentiment you've got your inner nest and die but within each set you've got a specific design so this one you've got the rose so that is the stamp but also a die to die cut it if that's how you want to use it and then there's your special friends and we've also got another one with thank you there now i do have a load of other sentiments but let's have a look and see how they're used before they all go so what I'm going to do is, I actually just happened to find this at the back. I'm not sure who, who done this one on the team. Uh, a little bit of background and used their circles, so perfect. I'm going to use that one. What I'm then going to, going to do, if someone has prepped that <laughs> and hidden it for future shows, sorry, I've taken it. Remake that. <laughs> yeah. Just blame Ben. Yeah. Blame Ben. Ben's fault, it's not here. So I've taken the thank you die and I'm popping it onto a bit of red satin cardstock. I'm going to tape it down so it doesn't move. Now with this thank you one, this is where you get a couple of your layers. So let's go for, let's use this one actually, and I'm going to use a bit of gold. Let's take that bit of gold that I started to use with that last demo. Uh, actually, I don't want, a, yeah, I do want that big matte layer because what I'm then away to do, using a piece of our Nina cardstock, I'm going to then take the rose die. So let's take that one off. I'm going to die cut all of these at the same time. Now you won't be familiar with our peekaboo characters or uh, things like our staycation, which happens to be our get it, got it, gone this week, anything like that. So you could change. So instead of using the image that you've got, maybe you want to use your peekaboo characters instead. Maybe you've got your twirling characters from your craft kit box. Maybe you want to use them instead. So you don't just have to use what we are giving you. You might even want to pop your own photo behind. Got that option as well. So what I'm then doing is if I remove all these bits out the way, so let's take this one. What I'm doing is I'm going to pop all these bits out here. I, did I just hear that right, That's George? That's right. 60% of this stuff gone. I mean, it's an absolute bargain. Breaking the bank. I don't think it even happens. You give only one, you get an extra two free for £7.99. pence, $12.95. And that extra 20% off Club Inspire Platinum member. I mean, like you are just showing, you've, I mean, you've just got a bit of card there. Not much card, you know, little scraps and ends. And they've made, they make some absolutely beautiful cards with these, Craig. Absolutely. Absolutely spot on what you just said there. The size of these ones are so good for your bit box. And us crafters have got that box, that little bits of cardstock that we don't want to bin because one, we just don't want to bin them and we want to use them elsewhere, but we don't always know where or how. So these are the sorts of products that you can be using where you can take all your bit box and uh, die cut all these little bits in with your cardstock. But what we can do is very quickly, let's bring, here we go. Let's bring in my stamp and I'm going to pop this one on and simply for speed, because I'm not actually going to colour this one, I'm going to bring in my ink pad that I had to the very top, which happens to be flagstone waterproof. So what I'm going to do now is this stamp is going to perfectly overlay on top of our die cut image. So I'm going to line this one up. Now what I'm going to do, I don't think I'll get my head in the way, which is fine. So what I'm doing is using my stamping mat, I'm having a look at the outline of the white die cut underneath. When I'm happy, I'm going to press, I'm going to remove. That's then giving me my perfect impression. Easy, look at that. See there. That looks great. And then the whole idea is to actually build up your design. So whether you, you are creating your own handmade water background, <clears throat> 
or any of your bit <laughs> box that can go on the front of a card you know maybe it could be a tag even for a gift that you're giving to someone think about even uh, maybe our pop-up boxes that we do or our dimensional boxes you can start to pop them in as well don't always think about cards think of elsewhere in your crafting and elsewhere in your gift giving that you could be using them Absolutely right. Circle sentiment stamp and die collection with those 14 elements. You're buying one, you're getting two free. £7.99, $12.95 and an extra 20% off if you are platinum. Over 60% of the stock gone, so get in those nice and early. Otherwise, you are going to be missing out on those today. Now, moving on to our next piece, we've got our doily and dainty collection with five elements here for you this morning. This is the wonderful doily set. There it is. This is priced at £13.78, $19.14. Look at that. Absolutely. That's the wonderful doily set and then over here on the dainty because what would crafting be without butterflies look at that i've learned that in my short time here butterflies and stags every, everywhere look at that beautiful loving those this morning those are 13 pounds 78 pence and 19 dollars 14 for america um, saving over 40 percent today get those in your basket absolutely fantastic julie barlow on youtube great to get extra points absolutely points mean prizes here in the uk and abroad and mary ham on youtube this week is breaking the bank i am sure it is there's loads of great stuff absolutely fantastic and amy smith to mcdonald on facebook so pretty love the combo of the butterfly but butterfly butterfly and the doily. I mean, look at these the examples I've got here for you. Absolutely fantastic. You've got this wonderful, that's the mixture there of the doily with the wonderful flowers in there. It is, that's it. Beautiful. That lovely congratulations card. Nice and simple, nice and elegant. That is absolutely fantastic. And then this here with the butterfly, I mean, you are then using both die sets. You're using your butterfly and you're also using the doily. You're using both of those sets that you're buying there for $13.78, $19.14. Absolutely fantastic. Craig, I'm guessing you are a fan of the doilies and the butterflies as well? Yeah. I am because these ones here, these originally came out when we first launched our flower forming die sets. So we've got our traditional doilies as well as our butterflies. So let's show you a few things that you can be making here. So whether it is your gift boxes, now how perfect would that be if you were to die cut one of your circles? And e actually even that red works really well with that doily that we can see. So if I was to pop that there, of course I would pop that under my flower, but you can see how that works. Actually, do you know what? That could even, if you pop it flat, you can pop your flower within the middle if you want to. Now on this one here, so we've got, I don't know, I don't seem to have a doily or a butterfly there, or that one, or there we go. This one does. So here we we'll go, we're looking at the doily at the back. You've also got this border within the set as well. And then this one, a piece of home decor, having a look at the doily that's all the way at the back. We've got some of the borders right along the bottom here, incorporating your flower forming as well. So straight away, flower forming. It's going to be good as an accent on the back if you want to use it in that way. However, what you can then do is you can absolutely use them as a standalone mat and layer for your card or project. So what I can do is let's bring in our doily and I'm going to go in with a piece kind of like our, our um, rose gold centura pearl. This one is from our metallic ranges. And then what I'm doing is I'm going to go in with my folder. Notice as well for craft fault today, for time and speed, what I've done is I've gone over into my midi because I actually had the midi out last night as well because Cartload with Hunky Dory was absolutely mentally busy. That one, I didn't even have time to take my double-sided tape off, so I used my tape runner, and I didn't even have time to go through the Gemini Mini or my Gemini Junior, so I used the midi instead. I do like that Gemini midi. And it's, it's good. And because the gyms are closed, it's like a little workout for it me, is. isn't it? A little workout. Look at it. It is. Not that I'm concerned, because I actually don't do the gym. But, <laughs> you know, so in, at least in that way, it is giving me that little bit of... Um, Exercise. I love the gym. They've got great vending machines. Oh, do that, a yeah. Absolutely, Mars Bar, or Fanta, and all the good ones. Miss them, not gonna lie. Look at that. I'm getting, <laughs> getting emotional over here. Yeah, you do. I, I, I like as well um, how uh, many people will do that. Eh? They'll go to the gym, do a little bit of exercise, and then they treat themselves afterwards. Yeah. Why not? You all deserve a treat, don't Get a you? Kebab. Get a good pab. Look at that, absolutely fine. Loads of love for these doily sets, absolutely fantastic. Uh, they're absolutely fantastic. These are fantastic elements from Lisa Reed Rickards. I'll have them and use them all the time. What a great 
by. And she's also put, I just realised, I have you on my phone, my TV set and my computer right now. Would you say I am a fan? A possible. And uh, Moira, has, I, she said, I wonder two things. How old is George and how tall is George? It doesn't matter, he's doing a great job. He just looks so young. Stop it, you. Stop it. I'm 27. Oh, yeah. How tall am I? Uh, it depends what shoes I've got on. I'm six. I haven't got my heels on today. I am six foot two. And if you are American, it's what, 185 centimetres? I don't know. I'm working it out all the different way. How old are you, Craig? 21? No, I, uh, I, well, in June, I'll be 36. Are you actually? Yep. Look at that. Ben just, as as, just as well as, in case you think, in case you think, um, where's it gone? Just as, oh, it's disappeared. Looking for Leanne's step, in case you think that he's actually standing on Leanne's step. He's not, that's how tall he is. <laughs> he is huge. Yeah, I've got it. Just somewhere. Absolutely Gone. beautiful. Very um, nice, yeah, loads of love for those. Uh, really nice, really nice way to add that delicateness to the back of your cards or projects. Once again, maybe even incorporating that circle sentiment. It's going to work really well. But these butterflies, I think, why so many people love these in the past, George, yes. they're not like any other butterfly dye we've had in the past. No. These are ultra, ultra they're fine. They're so thin and nimble. They look elegant because they, they are so thin. People are saying, I didn't think I needed this set, but they are buying it because they're like, yeah, yeah I need it. I need this in my basket. What you could do is if you cut these ones out into silver satin card, they're going to look a, a bit like metalwork. Right, you yes. know, you're going to get that look. Yeah, because that card I had, I couldn't work it out. I was like, that's not the same die. And then I looked at it and went, oh my God, it is. It's just it's so small and so yeah. elegant. It's beautiful. And so what you could do is you could take your uh, empty Coca-Cola tin, Fanta tin, Dr. Pepper tin, anything like that. And these dies, these are going to cut through your metal tins. Right. So you can, of course, absolutely die cut your butterflies in them, even although you've got that little uh, small edge all the way around. So then there is your uh, kind of like your metal work. Yeah. And you're also, of course, recycling your tin. Really nice within these sets here. So I know I've got, you know, a bizarre colour combination, but just look at that. If you were to even match them up, you know, you catch it. It works. Quite like that, actually. It's actually quite nice. It's, it's different and I like it and that's the best thing. You, and, and that's the thing with some of these sets. You see, I like a bit of that and I like that. I mean, there's everything today. Everyone is loving this today. I think everyone's going for straight yeah. all four items because they all work together. There's nothing that we've shown today nope. which wouldn't work. But limited stock on most of these things. So if you are getting them, check out in them because very shortly they're all going to be disappearing. They're all going to be sold out. Absolutely. Yep, they're going to go. I'm not surprised whatsoever. And a nice finishing accent when it comes to any of your cards or projects. Brilliant. Yes, absolutely price. Uh, doily, doily and Dainty Collection with five elements, £13.78 and $19.14 uh, for you stateside. Now, last but not least, we have got this wonderful, wonderful little set for you. The Back to Nature set. Absolutely beautiful here. Look at that. Back to nature. There we are. Okay, back to it with Happy Words Collection with 42 elements. Now, if you're looking at that and going, well, that is a box. What do you mean by that? I'll show you. I've got a little example. I'll show you that really quickly. And that's the stamp set as well. Look at that. Worth, that's, that, what, is that right? Wow. The, the, uh, the box is worth $14.99 by itself. Now, if you're wondering, what do you mean by a box, George? I will show you. Because I looked at this and I went, I don't get it. It, is, um, it looks like a flat card. And then I pushed it. Oh my, hey, look at that. That looks so, I love it. Ooh, look at that, beautiful. So elegant, I mean, so excited, simple things. I love that. And I, I mean, Craig, you would tell me a bit more about this. This, this set here, it looks so good. Yes, looks so yeah, so good. So good, you're getting that dimensional look within the box because obviously it is dimensional. But because you've got that element where you can do the pop-up. Now I don't have finished samples of the pop-up, but this, with the happy die that you've got, you know, use it with the pop-up, or then what you can then do is actually use it as a standalone that you can see here, bringing in your colours, or what about this one as well? Really nice together, separately, it's entirely up to yourself, but it works really well. Amazing, so simple, so elegant, loving it. I mean, this has been one of my first craft vaults and we have gone through everything today. Let's have a look what we've had in the last half an hour with our first numbers. We had the large number, 6789 collection with eight elements. That is limited stock, only just 10% of that stock left. That is priced at £15.98, $25.90 stateside. And remember, extra 20% off if you are part of our Club Inspire and it's also extra points. I'll recap that for you very, very shortly at the end. Next 
Next up, we had the doily and dainty collection with five elements. That is priced at £13.78, $19.40. You are saving over 40%. And then we've got the circle sentiment step and stamp and die collection with the 14 elements, priced at £7.99, $12.95. Over a massive saving there. And last but not least, the Back to Nature with Happy Words collection with 42 elements. And then that box by itself is just £14, so you're getting a great saving today. £13.63, $18.30. 13, 35%. Wow, look at that savings. And of course, this weekend here at Crafters TV, it is a bonus points weekend in Club Inspire. Yes, it is Friday, but we're starting the weekend early. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all weekend, you're getting these brilliant points here. You are getting, you spend £25, $25, you're getting 50 bonus points. Spend £50 slash dollars, 100 bonus points. And last but not least, spend £75, $75, you are getting yourself 150 bonus bonus points taking you through those ranks from bronze silver gold and last but not least platinum well what a show that has been what an amazing craft fall that has been big thank you to always the wonderful craig thank you so much for helping me through this first week mate i really appreciate it Oh, you are more than welcome. What an incredible job that you've done uh, over, uh, well, yesterday and today. And have, uh, uh, have a blast when it comes to Colour Me Happy tonight. You will love it for sure. That is me now for the weekend. I'm going to be back on Monday for, of course, Wake Up Call. And we're going to start the week all over again on Crafters TV. Thank you so much, Craig. Right, and what else have we got coming up for you today? It's only just the start. Don't not go anywhere. Come back at 3 p.m. UK time, 11 a.m. East Coast time. We've got the wonderful launch day with Ben and Sarah. Ben Mosby is going to be back here with the wonderful Sarah. And the new illustrated animal, Sarah Kay, the lady who designed these, is going to be here as well, taking you through it. And this evening, I'm going to be back with you at 7 p.m. UK time with our wonderful Colour Me Happy. Ben and Sarah are going to be here, and I'm going to be here as well. In the meantime, have a great day. Day, and I'll see you very, very soon. Goodbye.